OSU is going smoke free. On September 1st, 2012, smoking will no longer be permitted on the Corvallis campus at any time. This is part of OSU's mission in support of healthy people and a healthy planet. OSU Student Health Services and the university's health care partners will work with individuals and groups to support those who want to quit smoking. For more information and to learn about resources to help you quit tobacco, go to oregonstate.edu slash smoke free. The Corvallis Area MPO brings you your daily bike safety tip. Tip number three, using sharrows. Sharrows are located on slow moving roadways where cars and bicyclists can safely share the road. Use signals and safely assert your position in the center of the travel lane. Remember, drive your bike. Bikes are vehicles too. The Corvallis Area MPO brings you your daily bike safety tip. Tip number one, share the road. Ride in the bike lane or right side of the travel lane whenever possible. If there is no bike lane or the lane is narrow, you may ride in the middle of the lane just like a vehicle. Always use hand signals and be predictable. Remember, drive your bike. Bikes are vehicles too. The Corvallis Area MPO brings you your daily bike safety tip. Tip number one, share the road. Ride in the bike lane or right side of the travel lane whenever possible. If there is no bike lane or the lane is narrow, you may ride in the middle of the lane just like a vehicle. Always use hand signals and be predictable. Remember, drive your bike. Bikes are vehicles too. And we're back, Second String Sports, going live for the second half of the show, the best half of the show, NBA playoffs. Let's get it. The meat. Wow, Mike. <laughs> Mike is taking a picture of Dancing Mike and really enjoying his his, uh, his, his time over there. <laughs> I enjoyed Dancing Mike. Had a great conversation. <laughs> I'm going to miss him. <laughs> All right, stop spiraling on air. Okay. All right, let's Jake. just let's continue. Let's <laughs> Let God, I just sorry. threw a pen at Jake because he's not paying attention. Let, Let's go. Let Jake be Jake. <laughs> oh, let me be wow. me. Come that on. Is one right. of the, put it on camera. God. No, do not put it on camera. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right, let's go, Logan. Me, me and you will do Evan it. Okay, Sean, NBA. Take a screenshot of NBA. That. We got an NBA topic here NBA right now. Playoffs. Yes, thank you. All right, Jake, how about talk about the Blazers? <laughs> All right. For real, we want to start off the segment yeah, with this? Yeah, yeah me and go off forever. Okay. Yeah. All right. So... The three of us or three of us were present about a week ago. Game three in Portland. Let's just run over down our, 02. our mindset. Yeah. A, a convincing down O two when we got beat by twenty points each game. Yeah. Game I one mean, or around, two. Yeah, around, it, they weren't really that close ever. It was around twenty points. Yeah. Um so yeah. down O two, coming back to Portland. You must, know, must win we have scenario. to win both of these. You know, that you Absolutely. Gotta, we gotta protect home court. It's a must win scenario. Uh game three. Amazing game. Great game. We all got hats and shirts. Also, just teasing it here. We may have a special guest uh, maybe next week, hopefully, re- yeah. relating to the Blazers. Uh, Second String Sports just setting things up. I'll just say it now. Yeah, but. we'll just say also another hint. If you want to guess, you can tweet at us. Who maybe, is? Maybe. Who is it? Yeah, who is it? Maybe. Damian Lillard? I don't know. Tweet Paul Allen? Myers Leonard? He yeah. and Joel Freeland? <laughs> Joel okay. Freeland. Chill. You need Clover. To chill. I love Joel. Yeah, Victor Clover. <laughs> uh, anyways, all right. So down 2 must win games. We come out and uh, you know we took care of business game three. Oh, absolutely. Um, Firing on Ro- Rose Garden. Moda Center was rocking. It, it's the Rose Garden. It's, it's still the Rose. it's still the Rose Garden. Dame in my mind. dropped what thirty. Center. Dame had thirty two. Yeah, CJ had CJ a good game. Well. Um, and it just seemed Plumley. Yeah, yeah Plum, Plum, Plumley had like twenty five boards. That's in the game. had a, factor had of the a stat line that hasn't been achieved since Kevin Garnett in two thousand four. Yep, it was twenty two rebounds, Some twelve assists, of, yeah. and only like eight points. Because I think if, uh, granted, you know, 
CJ and Damian they do most of the scoring. I I think if That's you all don't you have need if Plumlee you, to do. If you don't have but no, if you don't have Plumlee right now, I don't know if the, if the series is actually tied. Oh no, I oh, completely agree. not because he played, he, he played an excellent game game 5 as well. And also he's, he's leading yeah. he's leading the playoffs in rebounding yeah, right I now. Yeah, I know. Like yeah. Who would have thought, like, that Plumlee pickup was an absolute steal. Just and, to give up Rondé, wise, Hollis he's Jefferson. He's so selfish to, uh, you know, create open plays for it's guys that, like uh, Damian and CJ. That's, that's the thing. That's that Duke mindset. Yeah. This, uh, if, if I'm, comp- like, you know, it's like uh, the Blazers right now, it's really comparable. Like, we've said it before, it's a money ball situation. It's like, they're, like, yeah. really, they're playing, like, an Oakland A's, like, mindset right now where they have, like, you know, they Nothing have one, it, it, one huge, like, super, like, okay, I don't want to overuse the word superstar because that's been out of, we could talk about that topic here in a little bit too. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you have one star in Damian Lillard and CJ's the up and comer and second fiddle star. And then, and then, and then you have just, you know, the all bits and pieces that, that fit little, together yeah. team chemistry. It's like all comes together. And, yeah. yeah. Cause we can talk about Al Farouk Aminu's game in game five. Oh, 30, or game four. 30. We I think talk 30. about Victor Claver cheering on the bench. Okay, chill. He's somewhere in Spain, <laughs> yeah. sipping a macchiato and a macchiato. You know, macchiatos aren't really yeah, Spanish. Whatever. <laughs> chill out, Jeff. Rattled, rattled, big rattled guy. All right. I really wish that thunder sound by every time I press that, I just get really disappointed that it just doesn't echo on for at least another two seconds. Just keep pushing it. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't. It, it, it doesn't work. Okay. You know, it's yeah. Anyway, so. Game three, yeah, uh, one convincingly, yeah. So then, so then you're let's get to in, game four. You're heading into game four, also a must Still win down. game, must win scenario, and you need to tie up the series. You need to tie up the series, and, and the- probably the most catastrophic thing that could possibly happen happens. They, uh, I mean, all, all, all you basketball fans their, know they uh, lost their two superstars in one game. Chris who, Paul, who is they? Well, everyone, oh, everyone is there. Every, everyone, everyone, everyone is there. Everyone is there. You're not, you're not paying More a very wood. good narrative for the people on radio listening on their radio. Yeah, we need they. You sound gotta tell them that the Clippers are they. Thank you. But They're everyone they. is they. But everyone True. is they. Yeah. Everyone, not the Blazers, is they. Is yeah. they or their fans? They. Anyways, <laughs> so you go into that. Uh, yeah, Chris Paul, kind of a freak. It, it, was it was it weird because so, when you see it in live time, even on replay, you can't really tell so, why that. So first, yeah. I was confused because he reached over and, I, and he swipes at the ball, and I was like, "Oh, wait, that, that's unless he broke his hand because that's the only thing possible I could like think of." Like, yeah. but then they showed the replay, and he breaks his hand on the back of Gerald Henderson. Of Gerald jersey. Henderson, it didn't even like how much. It didn't even look like he put pressure into that. It was very odd. Like, yeah. I mean, you looked at it and you were like, "Wow, that actually hurt him." And yeah, and then and then Chris Paul comes back and they get the ball back, and, and you could Chris tell Paul he was hurt. Looks at his hand, just knew like knew he exactly. He took a few like, dribbles, yeah. Yeah, he, well, he, he was sitting he went on the bench, court. just like you could see, he was in horrible yeah. pain. He was like trembling, and yeah, so that happens. And um, then uh, and then Blake, Blake Griffin, Griffin. aggravates his quad. Apparently, no new damage. So here's yeah. the thing, I I just don't understand. Why he was playing in the first place with no new damage from yeah because December he, I believe yeah well no the thing that I'm also like kind of like wait what because you know Chris Paul left the game he was out for the game Blake Griffin gets hurt goes to the locker room comes, comes back, back in the fourth quarter and then he's ruled like here's rule, this, rule fifty fifty weird. this the theory about Blake Griffin is there's a few articles that I read about it where people are analyzing the MRI that he got the next day after Game Four showed no additional damage yeah that's what I, yeah. so in theory. He could have played the rest of this series, but it's a Clipper thing. They realize Chris Paul's out. I feel like they just shut him down. Like they kind of accepted. I don't, I don't it. know about that because it, I don't think they shut him down. It was just weird that he, he left played, the game, though. comes back, and then all of a sudden, like I didn't even hear about it. And he like, played oh, the entire. By the way, Blake Griffin's out for the rest of the series. No, yeah, everyone was well, thinking like, yeah. yeah, it was weird. No, rest of yeah, they shut the him down the for playoffs. the playoffs. Sorry, yeah, yeah. But you know, yeah, you yeah, know I know what, I mean. what you mean. But it's just like. Yeah, like you said, he plays the fourth quarter. I was thinking, okay, yeah, it's not that bad. And then mm-hmm. what? The next day, you just get the ESPN port Blake well, Griffin they out said for the 50, playoffs. Fifty for the they next game 50, for 50. game five. So I was like, he, game, game, it'd be game five. Game five. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. everyone's like, he'll play. You know. Yeah. Um. So. But. So now they're down. Uh, Chris Paul, Blake Griffin. We go into game five in L.A. and 
No, I'll give it to him. They, they made it a little. Uh, yeah, they, they were made it, feisty they made it in, uh, a good, all a good, the way through the first well, half. Let's let Jake talk because he's over talking. I, I got a pull. Let's put on a pull. Does Jake <laughs> like to over talk everybody? <laughs> yeah. Hey, so I don't think Grant has though. really got any words spoken out of him in this segment. Grant is trying to speak. Like Grant, speak. let him speak. speak. <laughs> no, give, I just... give the voice to the people. <laughs> I want to hear Grant's fired speak. up in radio today. I love it. The passion. Um, I don't even know where I was. Uh, Keep yeah, going. We go in, we go game in and, five in and, LA. and yeah. take take care of business. Uh, game five in LA. And you know, credit to the Clippers. They made it close. <laughs> they still have a lot of scoring options. You know, Crawford if he gets hot, who hasn't had a Won't the greatest happen. series. Hasn't happened all series. Uh, JJ Redick. Uh, but I mean, like, see, Pablo Pergioni. Uh, yeah, the I, life of Pablo. Okay, here's the thing: <laughs> you Chris Paul goes out, and you have a s- very uh, steep decline in talent from uh, Chris Paul uh, to Austin, Austin Rivers, Rivers or Rivers. Pablo Pergioni. Yeah, and and that's you know, I think Dame had 17 in the fourth. I mean, mm. that's but they, yeah, once Dame because Dame had a couple shots in that fourth quarter where I uh, well he got taken. No, he got because he made the shots and like. End of the third, start of the fourth, he got taken out and he was mad because he wanted yeah, to keep going yeah, yeah. because he was feeling it. But even when he left and came back during the regular game break, came back and he was still just, and then oh, just yeah. goes off. I mean, and that's where they miss, I mean, obviously, but even when, obviously yeah. they miss Chris Paul all game, mm-hmm. but especially in the fourth quarter to settle things down. I mean, that's Damien Ty, like, yeah. Chris Typical. Paul, veteran time superstar. It? Time is it? It's Dame time. That's his top. Like Dame time. You're not, Austin Rivers and Pablo Prigioni. You're not stopping Damian Lillard in no. the fourth yeah. quarter. And that that's really where it was. They kept it close. We pulled away at the end pretty easily. I think, and we, that's where we I, are. I would have to say though, if Blake Griffin, like, granted he hasn't really done much, but I think if Blake Griffin's in that game, it's actually probably even, maybe even closer than that too. Because yeah, I yeah. just feel like he hasn't performed this whole series though. Yeah, I don't know if he's he been hasn't totally been a right. Fa- I don't know. He hasn't been a factor to me. There have but. been some times where he's completely a detriment, and yeah. sometimes, like you know, he's out there taking long outside jumpers and bricking them. Yeah. But then there's some times where he's aggressive and powering through. I'm pretty sure the Blake game we're at. Yeah, mean, Griffin is so bad in the last two minutes, and it's yeah. not that like he just kind of like he goes, he goes into the shell and he forces things. And I mm-hmm. remember Charles broke this down. Like you see him taking. Take, taking jump shots, and I think one of the worst things Blake Griffin ever did Take. was was become a jump shooter. Yeah, he, he, just, he, he got he that's got too passive. When I when I see Blake Griffin pull up for a jumper, I'm like, all right, that's yeah. a, that's a great defensive yeah, I, possession. I will live awesome. with that. Yeah, you you will abs- I, if if Blake Griffin wants to shoot 20 jumpers a game and we lose, I'll live with that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I will let him shoot 20 jumpers because I don't I don't think he'll, I, I don't think he's good enough to win with just just by shooting jumpers. He's got to mm. play in the post more. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. When when he's taking it out our our big men, it's tough to stop. Yeah, <laughs> when Blake 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 is really good when he can get it face up and drive, or you know, in transition or in the post. Yeah. He's not good at shooting these, you know, eighteen Long footers. I mean, yeah. Having it is good. He just relies on it way too much. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Yeah. So going forward into Game Six tonight, 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 tonight. in Portland. Yeah. What I do last time, game six. <laughs> oh, God, how last, last time how they cool count me out. Be? What I do, game six. How cool would that be if Damian hits a serious winner? I'm, Again, I'm same spot, point nine. Wow, yeah, that would be. I'm hoping it doesn't come down to that. I mean, I know if it did, I would. that would be awesome. I mean, that'd be so cool. That would be really cool. <laughs> I, I guess for as long or, as we win, that would be yeah, awesome, right? Yeah, true. But I, I think it'll be a convincing win. I, I think so too. I think I think Portland's got this. I don't really see all the anything, confidence that, anything with in the Portland, Clippers. all the momentums with Portland. Yeah, home court is with Portland. And yeah. I think uh, in this in sure this for uh, tonight's game too. Oh, I want one of those. those for are everyone, sick. Uh, those they are say, cool. say everyone can see that. City. Tweet it, tweet it out. You can tweet it out um, if you want to. Uh, so I think in our, we'll we'll talk about our we had, we had our playoff predictions two weeks ago also, and I think that why don't we get into that? Let's get into it now. You want to get into it now? Yeah, yeah sure. All right, let's, let's, let's get into it because uh, well, mine someone wrecked. someone made a little uh, <laughs> someone made a pick to put a certain Boston Celtic team into the Eastern uh, Conference Finals. By the way, the Celtics still in? Nope. Uh, oh, by the way, the Raptors are fighting for their life. Yeah, live against the Pacers. Okay, that's a really good series. Just yeah. acknowledge that I'm done because Paul George in that series is They're absolutely. Awesome. Locking down DeMar DeRozan. Yeah. And yeah, that's been exciting. Uh, and keeping things very interesting in that one. 
Yeah, that's been yeah. the most. I think, in my opinion, that's been the most exciting series. I'd say that's that's probably the most exciting. The most entertaining was Dallas and Oklahoma City. Okay, that was the most actually before we yeah. before we talk about it. Not the best because Dallas just got ran so, out the gym. So every much time. playoff stuff so to talk first, about. Yeah, first let's <laughs> yeah. talk about Maver- uh, the Mavericks and Oklahoma City here. Started so, off with Charlie Villanueva. Yeah, first off, Charlie Villanueva walking into uh, Cameron Payne and Russell Westbrook's little dance routines. First, it's funny, but at the same time, it's like, all right, it's like you got to give them their space because you yeah. know they're going to come back and retaliate with something. And they did in the press conference after they won. Uh, they, the Oklahoma City. Th- okay, so Mark Cuban, first of all, we'll go to that part too. There's so yeah, much there's, in this series. I, I'm just like off the court, like non-basketball yeah. stuff. Yeah. It's great. So it's Mark awesome. Cuban calls... Kevin Durant, the only the, the star, only superstar, superstar. The, the only superstar yeah. on the Thunder. Granted, they have Russell Westbrook. Westbrook proceeds to drop thirty six and eighteen. Russell Westbrook, I, I don't like the guy, but he's really good. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's, yeah. And you know he's dropping triple doubles. He's a superstar, triple double machine. Right, yeah, loves, unreal. Yeah. So I, I would have to say he's a superstar. But and that's the whole controversy. Is who's a superstar? Who's not a superstar? Is there only like three or four superstars in the NBA, and then the rest is yeah, exactly. full of stars? Kevin Durant is definitely a superstar, no matter yeah. how you sh- how you frame it. But but it, yeah. it's funny because it's Mark Cuban, yeah. And Mark Cuban, it's if you know Mark Cuban, he's gonna say whatever he wants. Cuban and, likes to you know ruff, ruffle some feathers and kind of yeah. stir it up. And so they're in the press conference after after they won. Uh, Oklahoma City. He, the reporter asked a question: If you've heard about uh, to Kevin and Russell, if you heard about Mark Cuban's comments, and then to Kevin Durant just goes, "Hold up, no, no, I got this." Mark Cuban, this. Is, Mark Cuban is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so great. <laughs> it's just so funny because I uh, it literally from Charlie Villanueva to Mark Cuban, you. You have that, and then Carlisle. <laughs> Carlisle after the game says their two superstars beat us, so yeah. he goes against Cuban. There's a video that surfaces of Russell Westbrook telling a guy to for him and his wife to shut to shut up and sit the oh F, yeah he got, the, and he got fined for that down. yeah he got fined he for got, that he got 5, fined twenty I, was it 25? 25. 25. Oh, really? oh the fine yeah. was for the f- yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So there was just so much going on in I that love the playoffs. series. It was great. Love yeah. the playoffs. So uh, the, practically, Kevin Durant and the Thunder destroyed the whole Dallas Mavericks team from yeah. top to bottom. Yeah, pretty it's much. True. Yeah, they covered their bases. It was from uh, Mark Cuban to the very top to Charlie Vanuweva, practically at the bottom. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's hilarious. It's it was great. fun. It was fun. Yeah, I, I was hoping that series would honestly go longer and. It, Five games wasn't enough. Yeah. yeah. We needed at least six. Yeah. Well, there was the tipping uh, from Steven Adams that almost potentially could have oh, had yeah, that as yeah. a sweep. Mm-hmm. But that was a great yeah, game. That's right. And I was, yeah, I wish that series went on longer. But looking forward, we got OKC and San Antonio, that's which be I believe series. if we look at our bracket, we all have that. I think on the West, that was a good um, well, I think we're all pretty much. Except me. Well, pretty much even on the West, except I think me and you, Logan, have uh, the Clippers. Yeah, we have the Clippers, but you know, as of right now, if you but we're still, I mean, we got we, we got the Clippers going out in the next round, so it's yeah. not that big of a deal. True, True. but uh, and I don't think yeah, no one has them, so it's not that big of a deal. We lose we lose a point. The East is where I'm things get all interesting. My points. The East is where things get interesting. Yeah, in because our yeah. Jake has a uh, let's we'll take a look at Jake's bracket here. Jake has the I was feeling it way too much. That Jake day. has the Boston Celtics beating the Cavs, and as we all know, the Celtics lost to the Hawks and the but, Cavs swept. Yeah, so fun times. But also, granted, all of us did have Boston. So no, oh, that's but fine. Still, way worse for me. No one yeah. had Boston in the. Uh, in the conference finals. Hey, so. Hawks, oh, Hawks impressed. Yeah, the Hawks, have, the Hawks been balling out. Yeah, 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 Hawks played well. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff Teague and, and what about uh, Millsap? Millsap. Yeah. Like, what, what did he have, 38 or something? Yeah, yeah, Millsap went off. Yeah, that was I, crazy. I really like that Celtics team, though, and I feel bad for him the same guys because Brad Stevens is going to be the next big coach. Yeah, and yeah, he will. Isaiah Thomas is fun to watch. And that's the thing. And I think going into this offseason, I think... 
I think the Celtics might surprise some people. Maybe get a couple of free agent splash. They have a ton and they have of a ton picks. of draft picks. I, you know this this Celtics team in the next near future, they're going to be really good. You know what really yeah. disappointed me is I really think that a Celtics team would have given the Cavs a much better run than the Hawks are going to. Yeah, give them. I think they would have too. Mm-hmm. I just matchup wise and. I don't know. They're just kind of a team that I don't think the Cavs would want well, to I mean, play. We, we saw it. We saw it last year too. Yeah. With the Hawks got swept in the conference finals, and they were yeah. the one seed. You know, like yeah. I don't know. I, I don't, mean, I don't need to watch the Hawks play the Cavs again. Yeah, mm-hmm. I I don't know. I just think the talent that that uh, Boston has would have been fun to watch versus yeah, Cavs. But yeah. you know, I think for the Hawks, Hawks, Hawks for the Hawks, that series, yeah, so. for the Hawks, they're. A team that's about to get dismantled. They're n- they're not going to be together for much longer. No. Yeah, because they've, had, they've yeah. had the sa- they've had the same core for years here. Maybe after the free agent after this season. Uh, yeah, they've been trying to trade Jeff Teague. Yep, and there was rumors of Jeff Teague going to New York. And yeah, I I I don't see the Hawks really getting much much past four games in this against the Cavs. Yeah, I don't really either. I don't give them a whole lot of uh maybe one, but even that it's yeah. I, I don't give them a whole lot of chance. So a chance. W- looking at our playoff brackets right now, one that one that's very interesting in our prediction here is the Hornets and hey, there's the a lot right yeah. in that cuz I think we all had Buzz we City. all had it going 7, but mm-hmm. me and nope. Grant had the Heat. Uh Jake had him in 6. Ooh, so tonight's a big game this for Jake. This is a big Jake. game for Jake. This is where am I going to get my points? Get that half point. <laughs> Jake's trying to get that half point. I also tonight. have the Mavs going to seven against the Thunder, Can, though. So. Let's just recap the points for anyone who wasn't listening. Isn't the it? I'll have to system. add them up after. I'll, I no, haven't no, added no, them up no, yet. I know. If you want to follow. How does the scoring work again? Okay, for anybody that doesn't know, the, we had our playoff prediction yeah. Yeah. two weeks ago. And if you want to look at yeah, that, pictures tweeted. pin tweet on at second string KBVR if you want to follow along as we talk we about might, it. We'll build a better. We'll it needs to be more readable. We'll yeah, make, we'll a, new readable. One. We'll make it readable. Excel or something. Yeah, we can put it on a whiteboard. True. Now nah, we'll, 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 we'll make it race if we put it we'll on a whiteboard. Leave, here. leave it here. Second string sports property. We'll make yeah, it a right. doc and we'll put it on. But if anybody doesn't know, for the first round, if you get the the prediction right, it's one point. And if you get it the second round point, yeah. uh, right, you get two points. And it's three points and four points. Yeah. And for each time we guess how many games that series will go. And if you guess the series points right. And the and the winner. Of and course. the winner. Well, yeah. yeah, it's a point five points correct. Yeah. So yes, cool. Thank you. I just wanted to mm-hmm. for anyone not yeah, what, knowing what the, what the points. To be so the, the, the the big part of, in our in our playoff bracket is the point five system. The point yeah. five system is gonna yeah, it's gonna make things interesting. That's gonna be the game changer right there. It Ooh. may be where I redeem a few points, but yeah, you're not winning. You have the I will, okay. I, actually, I guess I shouldn't say that because you did pick the Spurs. So you you have your champion alive, which is good. And the Raptors are still alive. And if the they're Raptors out, I'm done, alive. obviously. But yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So, well, I Let's honestly, Raptors. I still think that the Raptors. Yeah, they I still have a chance. Get it. They're gonna but get it. I think this is what they're gonna do. They're gonna like even for the next round. They're gonna they're, play the Hornets or the Heat. And, and I still think that that could go deep as well. I think the Raptors are gonna. They're they're a team that's good, but they're gonna play a long series. How great would it be? To have Heat v Cavs in the Eastern Conference Finals. Oh, I'd love to see that. That yeah, is, I would that'd watch be pretty every legendary. minute of that series. Yeah. yeah, that'd be pretty great. But I, I don't know the, the Heat going up 2-0, I was like, oh man, my Hornets pick. This is a terrible pick, man. What was I thinking? I was Hornets thinking I was a home. genius. Hornets go home. And it's like, Take wow, care of okay, business, Buzz City. And then the game. Oh yeah, let's talk about the game the other night. Uh, if you guys saw it, Dwayne Wade. Foul or no foul at the end of that game? That was a foul. I, I, did, I didn't see it. I, I also didn't, didn't see, see it. it. No. Okay. I was watching live. I'll look yeah. it up. I think it was. I I mean, I heard about a it. game I goes just, differently. It, it's it's tough at end game situations like that. It's just because the, it's the ref's choice, kind of. It's just like get it done. You know, like I don't Mike. Know. Mike wants something on here. It was it white side? Oh, wait. Oh, Dwayne Wade possibly had the chance of getting fouled. Mm. Uh because it was crazy times at the end at the end and uh it it's just t- it's tough for those end game situations. And because do you not call it do you, you call it. And I think that it was the right call by the officials because 
it's it's tough to for a chaotic play at the at the end of a game like that to call a foul. It's yeah. tough because ooh, that's close. It's tough. Did it, you just watch it. Yeah, that's close. Yeah. I gotta see like go. the shot to Mike. That's either way, yeah. honestly. I, yeah. Once, once <laughs> I, uh, here we go. I think the I think the refs made the right call by not calling a foul. I yeah. I mean, see, I, I can see both sides. It kind of you know just looking at it really quickly. It looked like he was pretty straight up. Was, I don't know. Yeah, you know, it, it was it, close. It, like that's just a call that is tough to get. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the only surprise is you know it's Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade at home <laughs> too. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. You would think but, he'd get that call. Now, do you guys know? Besides, if you if you watched it, also Dwayne Wade, irate and very heated oh, after course. that. Of course. But do you guys know? I think Jake might know, because uh, social media god over here. Uh, <laughs> who who besides Dwayne Wade was most furious about that call? Not or no call. A Probably DJ yeah. Khaled. The was Brown it Khaled? Name? No. It was, was Gabrielle. Gabrielle Union. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was my yeah. next guess. <laughs> Did she snap yeah. on Twitter or something? Oh, she tweeted out, PS call, what the heck is this guy? Oh, uh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Been pretty funny. Uh, yeah. got, got, the way Wade has, has his lady at the back of the refs. It's like, it was like when uh, Wes Welker dropped that pass in the Super Bowl and Giselle <laughs> comes in as. He can't even catch the pass. And that's like my best Giselle impression. But <laughs> that's a good do it again, Jeff. Can you do no, it? I can't do it. Again. More Giselle. <laughs> Please, one more time, Jeff. He can't even catch the pass. It's, more like, it's like a Russian. It's that like is Russian. like a, a Russian man. Like, <laughs> well, she's a Brazilian up woman. kebabs and Russian beer. I did Russians don't kebabs. drink beer. They drink vodka. Oh, that's true. You're getting your nationalities mixed I'm up. Getting, yeah. I'm uh, he's real flustered by his nationalities. <laughs> the yeah. nationality drinks. What else did I say? The whatever the mojitas or oh, you yeah. know what you said macchiato <laughs> macchiatos. I was thinking of Talladega Nights macchiato <laughs> macchiato. Yeah, he's yeah. French in that dude. <laughs> you can still drink that in uh, Spain. <laughs> I'm not saying he can. It's just not a Spanish drink. True. It's called Spanish coffee for a reason, and it's not a macchiato. <laughs> uh, something else that happened in the playoffs that I <laughs> he's playing it off. <laughs> Uh, Smoothly transition. Oh, wait. wait, what's that sound? <gasps> <laughs> Mike's face. It's the move minute. It's the move minute. I almost, did, I almost accidentally did the pick p- picks of the week. And we haven't had this segment in a while. It's called the Mook Minute. Mook, you are going to be on the clock for one minute, and you have anything to talk about, anything you want. And the floor is up to you. You can go in five, four, three, two, one minute. I get flustered by this sometimes because <laughs> I don't have anyone to talk to because everyone just goes silent <laughs> and it's just me talking by myself. And it's kind of lonely. But um, you're I'm going to go with Logan will enjoy this one. Same with Jeff. Let's go with the D. Gordon story. Oh, man. PEDs. 80 game suspension. Is that what I saw, right? 80 games? Yep. I don't know if you saw his statement. Um, he accidentally ingested some banned substances. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I hate they keep going with this story. You know, every guy goes with this story after they get on PEDs. Um, I mean, I don't really get it. Like, come on, D, when you go to Starbucks, you got to get that steroid-free chai latte. <laughs> you know, how old are you? You got to know this by now. But, I mean, it's at the situation where it's like, oh, I sat down and a needle went in my butt. My bad. <laughs> Like, got some PEDs now. But D. Dory, he's not, he's not the typical steroid user. Yeah. No, he's the size of, like, a string pea. <laughs> a string pea. A bean. string pea. A string pea. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one. Luke <laughs> minute done. Yeah, I'm tweeting hashtag string pea. Yeah. No, I, I, good, that good is job, a, it's an interesting topic about the D. Dory. Minute. That was a good one. Bring some baseball. Yeah, in there. we don't need to get into baseball right now. There's way too much other stuff going on. All you need to know is that D. Gordon got suspended for 80 games. There you oh. go. You want to talk baseball, Jake? No, I was I was trying to click the clap actually, but oh, well, you've confused our listeners <laughs> and me. Yeah, you confused <laughs> me too, Jake. Good, good. All right, Anyways. I got I got a little topic, a little segment I wanted to do. Before we get into that, I realized there's something we did brush over since we didn't have a show last week oh. relating to injuries. We didn't talk about Steph Curry. That's yeah. right, we True. didn't. For those of you that don't know, Steph Curry is out two weeks, but that, that happened almost a week after ago. Two weeks. So Thanks, yeah. potentially could be longer. Thanks to the the massive sweat of Martin Junis or yeah. Monty Junis, right? it yeah. is flowing like a river. Uh, Steph, thanks to 
it's just kind of yeah. Monta Hunis. Yeah, it's kind of crazy just because that's the reason why. Yeah, a guy falling down and there's sweat on the floor. It's amazing that a 73 win team, their season comes down to to, uh, to sweat. To, to a sweat, guy, yeah, a uh, guy just sweating on the court. Yeah, crazy. or tripping and falling. Yeah, at, and sweat on the court because he tripped at half court and just slid. And yeah. then here comes Steph Curry, boom. And he, do you think it's not, it's not great for the NBA because you want Steph Curry out no. there? Yeah. And as but an it could have been worse. As, as an NBA fan and a Spurs fan, I uh, I think that it's I would I would rather have a a, a full uh, Golden State team because if I want someone to beat the Warriors, I don't want it to be fluked. I want a full. I want a full strength team. Yeah. For if you know if the Blazers play that or say if the Blazers play them at next round. See, uh, this is where I uh, I disagree. If I'm the Blazers, <laughs> I do not care that that Steph Curry is out. If we True. get to the Western Conference Finals and we beat him without Steph Curry, don't care. True. If I'm the Spurs, I care a little more. I understand that. It's just the it's just the nature of the of the two franchises. They're just in different places. Yeah. But let's talk about this now. Assuming the Blazers take care of business tonight. Assuming. Assuming, yeah. I'm just saying that to be objective because I know you guys will get Bla- on my Blazers tail. Are, Blazers are a ten and a half point favorite. I would bet. There's <sighs> a uh, lot in the playoff game. My life that they win tonight. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, okay, you want to bet your God. life. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see something go down to Corvallis tonight, if they lose. Where are you going, Jake? I'm laying on a train track. <laughs> Dang, man. Uh, oh, just oh a little side, side note about the series tonight. Dang, man. Uh, Blake Griffin and Chris Paul didn't even travel to Portland. So, Do you, do you think they're going to blow up the Clippers? That's terrible. What? That's terrible. They're no, not I know. I was... Huh. Like, this series is pretty much like they know. The Clippers do not care. But huh. it's just like, be man. there for your team. Like, yeah. There's still a chance you could bring it back to LA if you go hard tonight. And you, both of them, hey. not, e- not even on the bench. Wow, that's that, terrible. That, Dang. that angers yeah. me. Like, if I was a Clippers fan, that that would hit hard to me. Like, yeah, really? Like, you're not even gonna come. I didn't. I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, I haven't really bothered Clipper fans all that much because a lot of them are just bandwagon fans anyway. So I don't think they really care. Yeah, like, I don't oh, even Chris, know if uh, yeah. I'm sure half of them probably still think Chris Paul's playing. Half sure. of them maybe even think that. Oh, Los Angeles. Okay. What? Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Why do they get what that? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> what the heck? All Clippers fans are like Japanese? I don't know if that was Japanese or if it was... <gasps> we all over the place with our accents and cultures today. We yeah. have a very diverse show today. They probably just think Kobe we Bryant is playing for the, the Clippers. And they're like, probably, oh, Los yeah. Angeles. Okay, yeah, let's play. Yeah, probably. They probably so, don't even know what's going on. As the LA Insider, I can tell you that's exactly how it's going down. Yeah, oh, yeah. For Thanks, Jeff LA, is wearing a, LA Insider is wearing his Dodgers hat today. So the Got streak of Los Angeles memorabilia on every show is not really memorabilia, but apparel. <laughs> I'm not coming in with like a Kobe like okay signed Whatever. jersey. I, that could be signed the, the underbill. It's I don't not. Know. <laughs> I'm gonna look. It's, trying to defend. He's not. trying to defend his thought. He's trying to defend his. Trying to defend me sentiments. How about we just segue here? Okay, <laughs> I was I was gonna get into it. Let's just segue just to, with, to save Jake with uh, Steph Curry being reevaluated in what week and a half now week. Yeah. Um, how do you guys envision this Portland Warriors series going? Hmm. How many games do you think it goes? Because may I remind you, just last year, the Clippers or the sorry the Warriors got taken to Game Six in the second round. Okay, I, I'm really hesitant. By the I'm really hesitant to, to do this because I really don't want to jinx anything. Like if we're if we're going, I'll do it. I'm not a Blazer fan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, 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 have, I, have, I have an opinion too. So, um, I, if, if <laughs> of it, course you do. If it gets to that point, uh, Warriors and six. I, five I, or six. Well, I, I think I mean, mine's even less. I think it's five. I was gonna say, yeah. Like I want to say five, even but without for the Steph. sake of the show and just classic Vay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I am you are the you know. Logan is the. I, I just don't see it. I can't see. Yeah, I don't see Portland. Portland just doesn't have enough firepower, even without Steph, to beat 
Golden State in a seven game series. Well, granted, we saw that the I'm I already know a topic that Jake or even Grant can bring up. We beat him. We beat him when Steph Curry was healthy. We had them at home. I, it's a totally different scenario so different when you play in the playoffs. playoffs. I agree. I agree. I wasn't going to say that. I know oh, you were going to say that. You no, I wasn't. You were thinking oh, it. it was in your head. I just beat you to it. No, you it were wasn't. thinking it. Jake. You were thinking it. Playoffs are a completely different game. I'm in here. <laughs> in here. In here. Anyways. Jake looks so I, annoyed right I'm now. I'm sorry. I just don't want to. I just don't want to do that now because I don't want to drink. Yeah, anything. no, you you can. You don't okay. have to say anything. Right. Blazers and six. <laughs> in you didn't want to say it. I will. Just for my for the record, I had on the prediction I had Warriors and five. But yeah. now with Steph out, I'm just not even gonna. I'm not going there. We haven't won yet. Yeah, there it is. True. You haven't won yet. I like that. Great. That's, that's a true fan right there. Yeah. Thanks. But we Thank will you. win. So. Yeah, you will. I have, <laughs> I have confidence, but. I like Grant's attitude is winning today. Uh, Jake's Jake attitude is not. Portland will win. <laughs> In here. <laughs> I'm a winner. Blazers, just like the Blazers. All right. All right. Jake's Jake's uh, already calling a shot. And if they lose tonight, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna hear some horn honking. <laughs> from... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you'll, more, you'll hear more than that. It'll be the sounds of bones it, crunching it, on the track. Oh, my <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> Jeez. This is savage. <laughs> Just oh a, man, Jake uh, spiraling into a wild, wild west this story. Is, yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, oh man. man. Oh man. Oh man. Views. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Wow. Um, All right. Yeah. That'll be interesting. All right. I got the topic I brought up. Yep. NBA playoff starting fives. Mm-hmm. We pick them. Mike's you guys on the, vote on Mike's it. on this team too. So yeah. we got Mike um, in. All right. Let's do it. But how do we how do we dec- how do we decipher uh, who's getting first round pick, who's getting second round pick? Well, we just gotta figure out. I, uh, I mean, we can just say. We I mean, just, randomize. I'm it. just gonna throw yeah. it off the top of my head. Oldest picks first. Oldest person. No, nope, we got this. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm the oldest. Okay, Jeff, kind of kind of tease the the idea. So the here. idea the idea here is just well, we're trying to fill time. We need a segment, so we're just gonna of the teams in the playoffs of the 16 teams. Um, we're going to pick our best starting five. So even if they've been eliminated, even if they've okay. been eliminated. Right. Yeah. Of the 16 teams, we, I want to, we got to pick our starting five. Actually, how about we do this? Six. It, we'll, we'll go starting five and a sixth man. Okay. We have to do a six man too. I kind of like the five. All right. Then just, then keep it with five. Just throw it out there. All right. We'll just do a straight five. Okay. I got this. A random number. Oh, are I you, got this though. Are you talking about for the pick? Well, oh, are we order? saying if it gets picked, that's like taken? Yeah. Yeah, oh. it's like you're. We are dra- We are GMs drafting a team right now. So this is if awesome. he, So if he takes oh, Steph I, I Curry, Steph Curry's off the board. All right, number one pick is going to me. Sorry, there's no rigged. corruption. In that. Absolutely <laughs> rigged. Give it to Mike. Yeah, Second corrupt. pick goes David, to Mike. Got David Stern over here. This is corrupt. I call BS. Third yeah. pick goes Baby to spit. Jake. Wow. Okay, never mind. I'm getting, is this a snake? So <laughs> yeah, I get two. Yeah, snaking. it's gonna be a snake we're round. Snaking, okay. yeah. Then it goes to Grant, and now it's going to the Good. Jeff. Give me those back-to-back picks. I'm okay. gonna work you fools. <laughs> All right. Um, I wish we could like put these players into a simulation to see like we can. We I mean, could, we could put it in two K. Yeah. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. dude. We just we're putting it in two K. All right. Well, and then come and over then tonight. We can do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. First overall pick goes to me. I All right. Oh, and I should I I should put a caveat in here. Health okay. is not yeah. a factor. Okay. In yes, this. we are yeah. assuming that they're I already healthy. assume that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just put it out there. Okay, that I would think, be that would be real hard. Yeah, right. You got uh, off I the think board. mine's pretty yeah. simple. I'm going to go with my first overall pick. I think I'm going to take Steph Curry, Kemba Walker. It's are we doing? Are we, hey, are we filling it out as point guard, shooting guard? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like an actual oh, okay. like team. So you got your point. You got your okay. point guard, shooting guard. Just about to pick Pablo Prigioni. Oh no, dude! I got a, I got a <laughs> stellar, I got Pablo a stellar pick for that. Yeah. Uh, and does a center have to be a center? That's also a question. Um, no, yes. you, can you fill it? You a power should just do like center. the all-star type thing where there's two forwards, yeah, or two, two big forwards. Men. Okay, yeah, because like a Lamarcus Aldridge could be like a could center, be, could, could be, be a power he, forward, he's kind yeah. of a tweener. Yeah, okay. I know, yeah, I'm okay with that. We don't speak that name, Grant. Yeah. Okay, true. He who must not be named. You know, okay, just yeah. side note, um, hearing the name Cole Aldridge, it just makes me <laughs> yeah. angry because it sounds too much like yeah, Aldridge. Yeah, I know. Okay, Rock Chalk Jayhawk. Can Rock you? Chalk Jayhawk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second pick. All right, second pick. Uh, Mike, Mike, who do you got? Let him have the microphone. Yeah, so really speak, speak into the microphone there. This is going to be a fun one. Logan's going to like it. Hassan Whiteside. Kawhi Leonard. Oh! Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that's, that's a good pick. pick. That's good. That's a good pick. I don't know about that. I was hoping he, no, I, was hoping I, he would I would take him over. Dude, he's good. He's yeah, good. I didn't say he was Kawhi Leonard, it, 
he's not getting really the credit that he truly deserves. Which is weird. Yeah. It's, it's from a Spurs atmosphere. Yeah, well, yeah. Tim Duncan's gone. Uh, Jake, you're up. I feel like I'm. I need to swoop up a center early. Whoa! Why? Big, big for, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Mason nah. Plumlee. <laughs> Come on! I know you. You want? Yeah, I know you're just gonna give me crap for saying it. But do it. I would hometowner. Heard. Damian Lillard. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Hey, it is a good pick. It's the third. I took him. All right, he's up now. He's been uh, playing Grant, amazing you're in the playoffs. Up. He had 17 points in the I'm, fourth I'll quarter. Take, I'll take Bron, Bron Bron. There you go. Smart pick. Also a good pick. Steal. Yeah. And hey, LeBron, four. Yeah, that was a good pick at uh, four. Didn't expect him to fall that far. Okay, Jeff, you're up. Back-to-back picks here. I am going to go with the uh, with the Oklahoma City Thunder. I'm taking Westbrook and Durant. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> first... Dang it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. I hate Snake Jeff. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> it's the nature of the beast. I'm tweeting Snake Jeff. Every, right. sh- every show we t- tweet hashtag something. Yeah, Jeff. get my new name. Still feeling sick? All right. No, I'm not. Grant, you're up. Norovirus, Jeff? Okay. Yeah. What do you got going? And this is tough because we don't have names in front of us. You got to think at I the know. top I'm of your head. I'm looking at all of the teams and just like coming up with my who's on each team. Um. Oh, man. I think... Mm, I might go kind of, I don't know. So I got some good I'll, sleeper going picks. On I'm, I'm wondering if someone will I'm gonna do go, it. I'm going to go uh, Paul George. Great pick. I debated oh, taking Paul. Did, yeah. I almost took Paul George over Kevin Durant, but that's a great pick. Thank you. All right. Yeah. I, I'm just assuming he can play shooting guard because I already have a small forward, which yeah. is kind of what he does anyway. So it's fine. Pretty much. All right. Grant. Have, wait, where are you putting Paul George at? At shooting guard. It's shooting guard. Yeah, and LeBron okay. at small forward. Okay. Mm. We have a six man too. Oh yeah, I, we wanted, can, I wanted to do a six man, but Jake said that's no. fine. We can do we can fill out a full roster if we really want to. Later, we don't, we we go don't need to go. Hall. We don't need to go twelve. <laughs> well, maybe we, okay. Maybe after the sh- after the show, we can do that. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, off camera. Off camera. Off camera. Full, full we need that to put it into two K. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's exactly. true. Actually, that's, that is true. That's true. Um, so I'm up now. Yeah, Jake is up. I just have Damien. <laughs> so you got a point guard. I got a point guard. I got that covered. I'm going to go Clay Thompson. Good pick. Clay Thompson for Jake Thompson. All right, Mike, what do you got? You already know who I'm going to pick. Just write them down. Hassan Whiteside. Whiteside? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Your second pick? <laughs> There's a lot of good players still on the board. Uh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> interesting. Very interesting pick there, Mike. Now, this is, I feel like, coming back, it's tough is this, for me. Is this me? No, no this is me now. Logan's Logan. got back-to-back picks now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Man. I don't know why I was. Um, I love the back-to-backs. <laughs> trying to think of who would still be there. I'm almost thinking, uh, I might have to go Lowry. Ooh, Ooh. Good pick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ew from Mike. Actually, yeah. He's been playing like trash in the playoffs. Well, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's in the playoffs. That's true. Because but we're just, still, roll, just rolling through it. If we're given a playoff scenario, though. Yeah, true. You got to kind of imagine really, how many really good players left. There it is. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to have to go with. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Lowry. There's yeah. a lot of good players. And. Uh, mm. Hmm, power four now. I think I'm a... Uh... Actually, no, I'm not going to take Lowry. Psych. Who are you taking? I'm going to take that back. I'm taking James Harden. Mm. All right. Yeah. I, in, in, in a game of 2K, it's a good player to have. Yeah, and then uh, I'm going to take LaMarcus Aldridge. Good pick. Ugh. There's a lot of really good players God, left, you man. Just took James Jake, Harden and yeah, and just like two, two, my two, two most, most hated players. That hurt Jake's soul. Okay, you can't put Harden as your two most hated players. Let's leave it at that. That's true. I would. Mm, who is my most? That that is a good you, segment. We'll Westbrook, do that next week. Yeah, most we hated that next week. player in the NBA if you had to pick one. All right, oh, Mike, like you're it. up. This actually probably is Harden though. He's up there. Jake has, or Mike has. Leonard and a very sneaky pick of Hassan Whiteside <laughs> with the number two. <laughs> sneaky. Gosh. Like a string B. 
String Peas 2016. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm kind of thinking Chris Paul. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what I was going to pick if you Chris didn't Paul. have it. That's a very, uh, very good pick. <laughs> well, injury-free Chris Paul. Yeah. There it is. All right, Chris Paul. Jake, who do you got? Hey. 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 All right, Jake. What were you, Cab? What we got, Jake here. Yeah, Jake I has got a, Clay and Damian. You got Damian Lillard at point guard. You got Clay Thompson at shooting small. guard. Real good backcourt, but real small. You get Zaza Pachulia. No. Almost an all star. I'm trying Justin to think Anderson. who's. You, I, you gotta be like looking at the teams. Yeah, like it, which is. I'm, I'm looking right now. Yeah, but yeah, look at the teams. I, I got. Oh man, I got some ideas. I just want to be picking right now. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to think of that sneaky I was pick. Gonna, that I, was gonna, I got some sneaky picks. I'm not uh, going to tell you. I was going to take Chris Paul. But you can't. Come on, Jake. Certainly not take Chris Paul. You need to be on a, on a clock here. Yeah, you're on the clock. I'll take DeAndre. Ooh, good pick. He's pretty dominant. Didn't even think about DeAndre, but that's a good pick. All right. Is this me now? Yep, this is you. All right. At my power forward, I'm going to go Draymond Green. Good pick. Ah, man. All, th- all these people are just completely slipping my mind. That's a, uh, Grant has a, a very like power four, small forward, heavy yeah. kind of team right now. Like, so I need a center and a point guard. Is that yeah. Right? Until I until I make my picks. Grant's got a real chunky roster. I got my I got back All to right. back right. Yeah, you got back to back. You got chunky Westbrook and Durant. Roster. Give me Andre Drummond at center. Drummond, Drummond, and Drummond, Drummond. Demar Derozan at shooting guard. It's pretty good. I picks. love my team. Okay, and Grant. <clears throat> You're oh, back. Man. Uh, um, so can I, uh, I'll, I'll put, uh, Kevin Love at my center. Ooh, you're small. You are. True. <laughs> yeah. You know, but yeah. I don't know who else, what other centers are. I, I got a, I got a pick that I'm kind of shocked no one's, uh, taken at center. Oh, Dwight? Yeah, I can no, I, it's not uh, Dwight. I was gonna, I'm definitely not Dwight. <laughs> it's not Dwight. I'll uh, I'll give it up to someone. If no, they okay. want. no, just pick All it. Right. I already picked. I got uh, my center. Jake, I got you're up. You got to stash you need, it in your mind. Jake, you need a small forward and a power forward. I guarantee I know, no one's going to think about this guy. Oh, I think I thought of it. <laughs> can I change my pick, fam? <laughs> no, no, you already made it. Gosh. You've locked in. I know. Um, right. um, I'm going to go Paul Millsap. I'll text you. Here, I'll, Paul Millsap. I'll predict it real quick. Okay, yeah, just pull it up. Okay, Mike, you're up. a good pick. Someone already, I mean, I'm sure someone already got Jamon Green, right? I didn't hear. Yeah, yeah, okay. great. I, yeah. I just didn't hear his name. Um, This is tough. Yeah. <laughs> dang it. Yeah. Um, I, dang it. I, that's who I wanted to That's a to good one, to. yeah. I mean, I, I don't forgot. Need a I know. He, I'm trying to think who they're really thinking about. I don't know. It's, yeah. a, good, it's a good it's one. A good, it's I a really good wish one. I could switch my pick. It's a good one. <laughs> Chris Kamen? JV? No. JaVale McGee? No. No, oh, Valanciunas. Oh, actually, that's a good pick. I'm, I'm not. I don't need him. Pick Chris but, Kamen. Um. Okay, this <laughs> one's gonna be way, way out of uh, I guess left field or right field or right field. See, I don't know what the turn is. It left field or right field? It's left field. It's left. But which is weird I, because yeah. like right field is where nothing happens. Yeah. So you'd think that it'd be like out of right field or like you know usually the crappy guys in right field. Anyway, um. <laughs> I can. Can I put Batum at shooting guard? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna do that. I like that pick. Scheme yeah, diverse guy. Kind of get from the corner, maybe a lockdown defender. Joe right. so Mike is getting Batum shooting guard. Um. Okay. So I got Aldridge there. I need a small forward and a center. And you guys are talking about a center right now. I can't believe no one said this guy's name yet. Huh? Ah, it's killing At center. Me. Yeah, I really can't it. believe I, no one said. I his. want to switch my pick. Yeah, I can't believe no one said it. No, no Jay DeAndre. Was, DeAndre. DeAndre been picked. I can only Gosh. think of Al Horford. You're not thinking deep enough. God, thinking uh, deep. Uh, hmm. Can I just like? <laughs> Well, can, I, I, can I move? Can I move like LeBron to point guard? <laughs> no, chill, fam. <laughs> Wait, a point guard? No, we're, I'm talking about a center. No, yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, I was so just wondering if I can oh, if I can no, draft I, this guy next. Oh, I see what you. I see what you're doing. Yeah, 
Um, well, you could draft him at your six man position, if possible. True, oh. he's not really a six man though. I don't know. I don't think that's kind of a weird six man. I don't think it's Al Jefferson, like Lou Will. No, nope. no. Oh six man, like Lou Will. Gosh, I'm I'm just really trying. Right, to, we gotta hurry this up. Okay, we do, but I'm just really curious on who you guys minutes. are trying to think of. All right, so who's who's. Um, that's what's bought. It's I'm up, but I'm trying to think of who. Yeah, I can't. Be I really can't believe no one's gotten this. Hmm. I think you're just trying to get into my uh, head. Yeah. I, I, think it's I, a, I think it's I'm already in your like, head. I texted no. him. We're on the same page. Yeah. No, huh. we 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 got I, it. But don't say it. I'm not gonna say okay. it because someone's. I already got my center, and someone will figure it out eventually. And if they don't, I, I'm just gonna it, laugh. It's at gonna them. slip to me. So it's, yeah, I think it might. I think it's gonna slip me. Honestly, I don't really know what you guys are talking about. All right. All right. Tick tick tick. Make your pick. Tick tick tick. No, I don't know who they're talking about. Tick, tick, Make tick. your pick. Uh, all right, I'm going to have to take, uh, I guess, I need a center, so I'm going to take Al Horford. That's, I mean, that's, that's a, a decent pick, pick, but it's not the guy we're talking yeah. about. I think it's a conspiracy. I think no, Jeff just told Grant. No, no, I know. No, I really I, didn't. Like, I'm going to pick it. Yeah, when it comes to me, and you're going to be like, Grant, so Grant, is gonna, Grant is going to pick him, and then you guys are going to go, oh. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what's going to happen. So now I need a small forward. And trying to think of who I would want to put at a small forward position. If you find it out, don't say it. <laughs> awesome. Uh, um, this is fun. Shout yeah. out Jeff for this idea. Can you say uh, east or you. west? No. No. Just huh, interesting. Out. Believe me, you'll find out eventually. You'll, yeah, you'll figure it out and you're going to go, wow. How at, did I not think of that? At center. It's probably yeah. Mozgov. It's probably Cole it's Aldridge. It's not Mozgov. <laughs> is it Cole Aldridge? No. I'm not going <laughs> to tell you. you. Yeah, we're done answering questions here. Yeah. Uh, can I draft my six man? Yeah. Maybe? yeah. Uh, don't say it. Oh. Not Zach Randolph. I don't know. No, it's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just, yeah, pick, so. right? uh, Just pick. Just pick. We're getting way too hung up on. I'll draft on my this. six man right now, or and I might put him in my starting lineup later. I'm going to get Kyrie funny. Irving. Ooh. Mm, that's good. Interesting six man. That's a good pick. All right, who's up? Uh, Mike's up. I'm really curious what you guys are doing. <laughs> there actually is, like... Yeah, there's someone we're thinking about. Yeah. We're not even. And, and there's no conspiracy here. Bismack. I'm so rabid. Right Bismack. <laughs> um, interesting pick here, because all my picks are interesting. I'm gonna go with uh, Ibaka. Hmm, that's Ooh, good. All right, yeah, that's a good pick. I see you. Is it Jake? Yeah, Jake's up. Who's uh? Who do I have left? You Besides need a six, six man and a small forward. forward. Oh, crap. <sighs> Why don't we just power through this? Get as much done as we can. We got twenty minutes. <laughs> sure. If anyone really yeah. wants to listen, you can keep listening to our. Uh, so we'll recap what we got for Jake here. Jake has point guard of Damian Lillard, Clay Thompson. Needs a small forward. Got Paul Millsap and DeAndre Jordan. What good small forward? Can I say Dwayne Wade's a small forward? No. You can put him there. You can put Clay Thompson at small forward. Oh, that works better. I'm gonna put Clay at small and put. Replace uh, Dwayne. All right, you, got want, you want Wade? Yeah, I want Wade. Okay. All right, is it mine? Like that's a yeah, pick. it's your okay, pick. Here's, so, my, okay. here's my six man who I'll probably insert in the starting lineup, Mark Gasol. How did no one think of that? Oh. Well, just because he's like in the back burner of your mind. Because he's, he's been, been hurt. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a great pick. That's a pretty good pick. Yeah. I thought that'd be more of like an ah, aha moment. Yeah. No, because like I was thinking about it, but it was just in the back of my mind. But I'm I didn't thinking know. 2K. I'm thinking two K as well. Well, I yeah. was thinking like players that were healthy in the playoffs at one point. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's sort of what, that's what I was my thought was. Well, I mean, we were we just said playoff teams. 18. No, 18. I, yeah, no, and we said health wasn't a factor. Yeah, it. I was like, no, no. I, I get it. That was yeah. Is that the first Grizzly that's been picked? Yeah. Well, I don't really see many other Grizzlies. That's true. I'm just saying. So I'm up. Uh, yeah, Jeff is up. You need a power forward and a six man power forward and a six man. Okay. At my power forward position, I will take Dirk Nowitzki. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good. All right. And you need got a six man, Uh six man. I will take Kemba Walker. Oh, that's a good one. I was thinking about Kemba or Kyrie and I went with Kyrie. Yeah. Has anyone taken Batum yet? Yeah. Mike did. Mike oh, did. Okay. All the pick, All right? Is it mine? Yeah. Back to Grant. Yeah, back um, to Grant. You need a point guard. <coughs> so I'll trade you. Can I? <coughs> can I? <laughs> you have a trade offer? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Actually, so, I do. Can, can, Ir- Irving oh for uh, Draymond Green. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah. False. <laughs> can I? Uh, can I put Paul George at my point guard? No. 
Yeah, we're getting chill a little, with we're the getting hypotheticals, crazy. Grant. What about You're the guy who asked, "Can I put Dwayne Wade at small forward?" Yeah. So it all started with you. Okay, that's more feasible. Can I put Dwayne Wade at point guard? Paul, <laughs> you know, Paul, he has Dwayne Wade. Oh, I thought. You, oh, you already drafted yeah. Dwayne Wade. Okay, yeah. never mind. He took Wade and then pushed uh, Clay to the small forward. Hmm. I, uh, I, I have an, I have a guy for you. Can I, I can I suggest one for you? Are you gonna say McCollum? No, for a point guard. Okay. Isaiah Thomas. That's a good pick. Kyle Lowry's you out there too. Guard. Oh, Kyle Lowry also. Yeah, I, guess see, I, I was debating between Lowry and like. I guess I forgot. To, I was going to draft Lowry. I went with Harden and I totally forgot about him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to go um, Lowry just for 2K purposes. I think Isaiah Thomas is a better point guard. True. All right. Jake, uh, you need a six uh, man. Six man. What? CJ? Who'd you say? Nah, not Wesley. Uh, yeah, Logan. Logan brought a good. I'll take CJ. There it is, the home, the homer. It's a good six man. man. It's also yeah. a very good pick. Yeah, six you man. You guys are CJ. gonna love this one. Take that any day. My boy. It's gonna be something terrible. From Memphis, Mike Conley, Tony Allen. Oh, oh, that's a good pick. That's a good pick. I thought about that's that. A great that's, that's a sleeper. A good one. Just the Memphis. Memphis has been so tucked away in that's our a minds, good one. and no one. All right, well, I, I'm a small forward down. A lot of the, the good small forwards have uh, already been taken. And so this one kind of put me in a tough position to go with. And I was debating between two. And I'm going to have to put... And I might put Irving as, like, my point guard, move Curtis to shooting, maybe Harden. I don't know. I might mix that in later at the 2K purposes. I'm surprised you didn't pick your boy, actually. Who? Who's my boy? Your white boy? Your Bobin. brother? No, Bobin? not Bobin. Uh, He's got a scruffy little beard. He's your man crush. Mike who? knows. I white sure. guy with beard. Hmm. Starter. No. Spencer Hawes. I don't no. know who you're talking about. Can you just tell me? <laughs> His last boy. name has something to do with Valentine's Day. It's what you do to a woman. Kevin Love? Yeah. Kevin Love got I already, picked. I he got Kevin picked Love. by Grant. Ah, dang. I thought <laughs> no one picked him. I got to recap my team for you. I I got Curry, Harden. I need a small (laughs) forward. I got Aldridge, Horford, and Irving. Uh, I'm going to take Tobias Harris at my small forward position. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are we going to keep going? Uh, Yeah. Let's just keep going. We got 12 minutes. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, this, this is, is tiring. I'm, I'm enjoying this. It's I mean, racking my I like brain. it. I just like, yeah, it's, it, it, it's yeah. hard now. Yeah, yeah now it's hard. This is uh, going to be pretty hard. It's testing our GM abilities. See, I'm, also, I'm not even, I'm not even like, I'm cool, man. Just Let's a little side note. Uh, I just saw a tweet that says, uh, breaking <laughs> report, Kings willing to trade DeMarcus Cousins because moodiness bothers teammates. Oh, wow. I, color wow, me shocked. shocking. Yeah, I know. Do you think it will get traded this summer? No. Probably not. They, they always DeMar- DeMarcus, run, DeMarcus runs the Kings. What do you guys think of the new Kings logo? I like it. I like it. It's yeah. cool. I like it. Their new arena cool. is amazing, too. I haven't seen the arena, but the outside logo is look, awesome. Logo looks cool. Uh, I'm going to have to take... Uh, Jake's not going to like this. I, I, don't wow. know, I don't really like it myself, but I'm going to take uh, Dwight Howard as a backup center. Rim protector off the bench? Yeah. I mean, as a backup center, yeah. All right, Mike's up. We didn't get into that topic today, Grant. The uh, Dwight to Portland rumor. True. Nah, there's yeah, it's not worth it. You can talk about it while Mike thinks of his pick. What do you yeah, think, Chad? I'm, it's going to take me a second. Four not potential teams Dwight's going to land on. Milwaukee, Portland, Orlando. Portland's strength is will, team chemistry. Yeah. And he would and brick he that. Will kill will Portland. kill that. Kill Portland do not, team, team chemistry. Do Absolutely not want that. I feel like it. there's not even a chance of like Damian or any any leaders on the Blazers even liking him. No. I, I, at all. I don't think he's a very likable fellow. Also, something we can talk about. Did you see the James Conference uh, post game presser when he said some uh, some guys on our team got a lot of stuff to work on? No, I didn't. He had the audacity to him of all people. Hey man, okay, I got one. Avery Bradley, yeah. dude, you're going defense with your guards. Mm-hmm. You got you're locking down. You're locking down the guards. He's going for a Look low point. You. Low point two, two. Yeah, he's got Whiteside, Ibaka, Batum, Allen. Avery Bradley. The whole team Kawhi is just Leonard. defense. Kawhi Leonard. Dang. That's pretty uh, pretty yeah, stingy. You're going to hold, All right. hold uh, Jake, to 60 you're up. a game. Has anyone taken Isaiah Thomas yet? Uh, no. I'll do him as my backup point. All right. Uh, um, Grant, you're up. 
I don't think he's been taken. DeMar DeRozan? Yep. DeMar I DeRozan with Jeff. That's Ooh, been, I wanted okay. him as my small forward. Oh, that was a silent pick. I didn't even know yeah, that. I, didn't I, took, that uh, I took DeMar DeRozan and Andre Drummond. Oh, man. Um, I'm going to go someone who's been playing really well, uh, Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson. Dang, didn't Jeff, realize DeRozan Jeff, back to back. All right, well, I... Uh, I need a backup rim protector, so I am going to take Stephen Adams. Wow. Okay. I love Stephen Adams. I do too. That mustache is awesome. All right. And, uh, now. and uh, I also need a guy to shoot threes, so give me JR Swish. Mm, okay. I need threes, man. Threes for threes. Uh, Grant, you're up. Grant's team right now is consisted of Lowry, Paul George, LeBron. Draymond Green and Kevin Love with Paul Gasol and Joe Johnson. No, oh, Mark Gasol. Mark Gasol. Pals yeah. on in the playoffs. Yeah. True. Um, okay, I just had someone in my mind, and then I forgot it. I think I got a pretty good one. I'm kind of surprised. I got a good one. Gosh, we might be it? thinking the same thing. Well, uh, west or East? East. Okay, I'm thinking of someone in the West. Uh, mm. Gosh, this who is, was this it? is tough. I had it in my teams. mind. I know. Oh uh, gosh, struggling. Well, I had it, and Luis now I Montero? just forgot it. <laughs> Monte not, Hunes? not no. <laughs> Sam Decker. <laughs> hey, Wisconsin stand up, you know. Pat Connaughton. Pat loves Buffalo. Oh yeah, we forgot to tell Jeff. After Game Three of the, uh, in Portland, the game we went to, we went back to the Twalls in Buffalo Wild Wings. Pat Connaughton was there with his parents post game. Good True. for him. <laughs> All right, it was, it was pretty cool. Didn't need a shower, you know. Didn't touch the court. <laughs> yeah, right. Who you got? Who you got, Grant? I just want to get back to me, and I don't know if no one's. Picked um, gosh, literally had someone. Ten, ten seconds. Oh, Jeff Teague. Oh yeah. God, that who? That's who it was. All right, Finally, Jake, you're up. So I'm going off the Jeff train of players that got stashed back into our minds because of injury. I'm not sure he hasn't been picked yet, but I'm going to say Chris Bosh. Oh, that is yep. good. It dawned on me. That is good. Wow, that's, yeah. that is Jake, good. Well that, that could have been a that's top a real like steal. Yeah, right that's there. a good one. Hopefully, his you know his blood clots loosen up. Hey man, in two K, there are no such thing as blood clots. <laughs> yep. All right, that's a good one, Jake. Uh, wow. Mike, you're up. So have we pick seven now or eight? Uh, I was my eighth pick, I think. Yeah, that's your eighth. I can't believe no one got like, Chris Bosh. Like, I don't know who to pick anymore. <laughs> Just um, start throwing it out. I'm going to go Damari Carroll. All right. You really like defense. <laughs> I'm going to shut down your boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I've been thinking pretty hard about this one. Um, this is This has been a tough pick for me. And I'm going. I'm really going off, but I'm gonna go with uh, Blake Griffin. Yeah. How did Blake Griffin not get taken? Yeah. I don't know, but taking him. I don't know. And I feel I like need, this uh, series clouded our minds a little bit. Yeah. And I need another pick. Uh, going back to back, I'm gonna go with uh, possible. I'm gonna go Harrison Barnes. That's good. All right. Okay. Good. Um. I'm going to go JV, Jose Valanciunas. Ah, oh, man. I wanted him. Jake, All right. Jake, I'm you're up. up. <sighs> Give me a sec. And when I chose Harrison Barnes, what? I have Barnes on here. Just not uh, Matt Barnes. Not what, Matt posi- Barnes. what positions have I filled on uh, my you, bench? All right, so we'll far. review Jake's team here. Jake has uh, Damian Lillard, Clay Thompson, Dwayne Wade, Paul Millsap, DeAndre Jordan, CJ McCollum, Isaiah Thomas, and Chris Bosch. So I don't have a backup center yet. You got Bosch. Mm-hmm. You got Bosch. Can I call Bosch my backup power forward instead? You can call. You yeah. can put him at wherever you want. I'm gonna go Bosch backup power forward. Okay, that's fine. Backup center Andre Drummond. All right, Drummond's already been picked. Ah, I knew. <laughs> Drummond, it, I, I knew it a while ago. We're gonna have to wrap this up. We got. Well, we we can call this the last round. Okay. That way, I think it should be even. We all have, uh, and we'll, we'll finish out there. Yeah. We'll, I will tell everyone how our two K games went. Yeah. Has Stanley Johnson been taken? No, you want Stanley Johnson? Yeah, I don't know right, why. He's in LeBron's head. Me? Yeah, Grant, you're I'm gonna up. Take, he's a I'm going to take Wes. I don't think he's been taken. Uh, has he, he hasn't. That's nope. a good pick. 
And Jeff? Do I have my back-to-back picks? Or no, this is your last, last pick for, it. Oh, for on air. Okay, so but I have the next... Uh, I have the we'll ne- we'll okay. go on in the lobby. We'll finish it up. Okay. Well, I'll just say my two picks right now. Um, Reggie Jackson from the Pistons. I was actually going to say that, too. And um, give me Chandler Parsons. <sighs> yeah. I was debating between Chandler Parsons or Harrison Barnes. Yeah. You kind of want that guy. Long... Long guy could stretch it, stretch the court. All right. Well, that has been the uh, the second string sports uh, fantasy playoff draft. I like our team. Yeah. I like my team. It's been pretty good. It's a good way to round out the show. Why don't well, we uh, uh, run, run, run down the teams here? All right, right now, we get before off. we go, we'll tell the teams. We got, I got. I'll tell the starting five. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, for Logan, we got Steph Curry, James Harden, Tobias Harris, uh, Lamarcus Aldridge, and Al Horford. Mike has Paul, Chris Paul, Nicholas Batum, uh, Kawhi Leonard, Serge Ibaka, and Hassan Whiteside. Jake, <laughs> dang. Jake has Damian Lillard, Clay Thompson, Dwayne Wade, Paul Millsap, and DeAndre Jordan. Grant has Kyle Lowry, Paul George, LeBron James, Draymond Green, and Kevin Love. Jeff has Westbrook, DeRozan, Durant, Dirk, and Drummond. There it is. That's the secondary a lot, sports. A lot, a, lot, a lot of D's in there. Yeah. Well, uh... We will announce what happened on Twitter if you guys want to, are interested. If you're really interested in this last 20 minute segment, where yeah. I think only five the five people in this room really cared, yep. but if you're really interested in it, shout out, yep. shout us out on Twitter. All right. Well, that's been Second Street Sports. You're listening to 88.7 KBVR Corvallis. We'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. Intern was back today. Mike today went through was a good day. NFL draft. Oh. NFL draft, Beaver football talk, and NBA. NBA. No. Solid. All right. We'll uh, tune you guys in next week. Same time. Peace Same out. Place. And go Beavs. 10 to go 12 Beavs. every Friday. Go Beavs. Go Beavs.